Fight fans, fight fans, fight fans. This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News. And I got some new news concerning Deontay, the bronze bomber Wilder. Deontay Wilder erupted today in L.A. as he went off on Radio Ahim, which Radio Ahim asked him a question, you know, about y'all people. And that set Deontay Wilder off. And it set him off because he know Radio Raheem was also black. And he felt insulted because it was like Radio Raheem left himself out of that. You know what I mean? So I get what he was pissed off about, but I don't know why he acted the way he did. You know what I mean? Now, there's a different side to Deontay Wilder, which I've touched briefly in previous videos about him with the background he comes from, the South. And, you know, in Alabama, you know, of course, that's a southern state, which a lot of racism went on. A lot of racism still go goes on to this day. Um, and he really tried in his own way to touch touch basis on it. You know what I mean? To bring to share to shed some light on it, really, just like Tyson Fury, you know, tried to open people's mind up about mental illness. Deontay in his own way. Um, wanted to express and inform people, rather, um, about his culture. Now I get it. And his background. He mentioned that the people in the UK don't like him because he's black. And that's why they didn't like him. Which I think really what that was, now looking at this interview... And him lashing out like he did, he was really referring as a reflection to his own background. He was referring to something that happened to him in Alabama or something that happened in that proximity. So um, I think that's what that was, more or less. You know, um, of course, he should have realized, and that's pretty much being kind of new to the limelight having all these interviews and constant people asking you something again and again and again and again. Now, don't, don't get me wrong. Even the top stars like Canelo Alvarez, after he was beat by Mayweather, he was frustrated by doing interviews over and over and over again. You know, so that can be frustrating for, to someone that this is not accustomed to. He's not used to this. You know what I mean? This is all new to him. So, um, but I think for me, counterpunching it, and I think and I feel that Deontay Wilder was lashing out. Um, I feel that he should have used that opportunity, used that platform to show what the struggle was. Because if he would have understood where Rod Radio Raheem was coming from, Radio Raheem, he is a reporter first especially when he's on his job. You know what I'm saying? Not taking anything away from um, Radio Raheem, but he's going to ask questions as though, like your people, because that's how Deontay Wilder worded it. So Deontay Wilder should have known, you know, but he did put him in his place. No, that's your people too, which he had room to say that because Radio Raheem is a black man. He's a black reporter and he has his own struggles or whatever, but he should have, he should have known to, hey, this is what I'm talking about, in case you don't know. Instead of saying, Google that shit, no, you should have known that we have been fighting as black people for that this long a time, for 400 plus years or whatever, to get what we deserve to be having that we were, we were deprived from. That's how he should have handled that. But instead, he lashed out in anger. He lashed out the way he did, you know, and I think Radio Raheem, you know, just doing his job, took it pretty well. You know what I mean? He knew when to shut up. You know what I mean? Because it looks like for a minute that Deontay was set up, set off, you know, by that statement. And you don't want to provoke someone that pissed off like that. You know what I mean? Because the dude does have a temper to the most part, um, especially when you're dealing with nationality and things of old especially wrongful things that was done to your people you know but he should have just used that 
you know, as a platform, you know what I mean? Because if people don't know, the wrong thing to do is say, hey, Google that shit. No, inform that shit. Tell people what you're talking about. Like, okay, first of all, this is how he should have done it, okay? First of all, that's our people, Radio Raheem. So our people, meaning black people, have been through this a very long time for 400 plus years and we are still trying to get our just reward and trying to rise despite being discriminated against something like that you know what i mean instead of google that shit and lashed out man i'm out of here or whatever he lost it he did lose it but he had a perfect opportunity to show people what he was talking about you know what i mean sure he got pissed off the way right radio raheem worded it you know what I mean? And from that, he lost focus. You know, looking at that deeper, he lost focus. He, he lashed out in anger instead of intelligence. But it comes from inexperience because he hasn't been on that platform long. Understand Deontay Wilder is a PBC fighter, which means PBC by Al Heyman. Al Heyman had an ingenious plan to put fighters on free television. OK, that was totally against what he's doing in the platform he's at right now. The platform he's at right now is pay-per-view. That's totally the opposite from free TV. You know what I mean? So in other words, saying all that to say this, this is all new to him. So if he's going to stay in the limelight, he's going to have to learn those type of things and learn how to keep his cool. Again, you know, it wasn't terrible, but you can tell he lost it. You know what I'm saying? And when you lose it like that, that makes reporters more reluctant to interview you or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's just going with learning how to conduct yourself in a certain way. Sure, there's nothing wrong with being angry. You know, certain things you hear about history pisses you off. I'm not saying that it's not that it didn't exist or he over exaggerated. He just handled that completely wrong. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? So that's my take on it. Of course, I had to counterpunch it the way I do it, the good way and the bad way. Then it's the way I do it. So um, you guys tell me what you think about this video. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.